All right, so let's talk about uh, different ways that you can set up the Cinestar 3-axis mount with the Radians. Um, we've built in connectivity for Futaba receivers with SBUS, um, also PPM receivers, and also the ability to use a Spectrum satellite like this. Um, you can also use standard PWM. We don't recommend it because the wiring gets a little bit sloppy because you need to run more leads to each module than if you were to use SBUS, Spectrum, or PPM, but it still will work fine if you choose to use PWM. So. Let's talk through a Futaba connection real quick. So we've got a little Futaba S-Bus receiver right here. We've got an S-Bus lead coming out and that snakes right over to the pan module on the Radian. Um, then we've got, from here, we've got a servo drive out to the, to the pan servo uh, from this Radian. And then we've got a lead coming down to the roll Radian. Um, so basically, the modules daisy chain and they send signal from one to the next to simplify the wiring so you don't need to have multiple leads coming from your receiver to each radian module um, and they're they do it in an intelligent fashion and you can set up the channels and the software to assign them to different things so this uh, the pan daisy chains to the roll which then daisy chains to the tilt and the the wiring pin out is in the manual um, it's probably easier to reference there than for me to point at but just to show alternate setups um, if you were to use a PPM receiver, the only thing that would change in this installation would be that you would have, you know, rather than the Futaba right here, you'd have this PPM receiver there. This is a Gropner. Uh, a lot of people flying microcopter are using those. And then let's say you were going to use Spectrum. There is actually a Spectrum port down there on the underside of the Radian. So you would just plug that, that little guy in there and you're ready to go and that that will pipe all channels through uh, from just like I mentioned earlier from pan to roll to tilt um, so it's a very simplified wiring uh, you can set it all up in software you can manipulate the channels to do whatever you want them to do um, it's pretty pretty easy and intuitive to set up thanks